Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about direct method. As we know that in the previously we have discussed the topic of grammar translation method and today's video we are going to discuss about direct method. So direct method. Direct method is the result of failure of grammar translation method. Because grammar translation method was totally focused on, it's totally depending on mother tongue. So finally it was failed and they started focusing on direct method. So this method originated in around the 1880s by whom it was pioneered by the Maximilian Berlitz. It was pioneered by the Maximilian Berlitz in around the 1880s. Who is he? He is a German American linguist and a language teacher who is often credited with formalizing the method through his Berlitz language schools. So he started focusing the direct method through his Berlitz language schools. And apart from this, Henry Sweet, he was an English phonetician and Jesperson, he was a Danish linguist. These both also focused on phonetics. And this phonetics also helped to develop the direct method. So coming to other names of a direct method, we can call natural method, we can call reformed method, we can call Berlitz method, phonetic method, and anti-grammatical method, psychological method, these all names we can call it. When the director method has these all names, natural, reformed, Berlitz, phonetics, anti-grammar, psychological method. And uh, the basic aim of direct method is to teach any foreign language, to teach any foreign language through conversation, discussion and reading in the target language. So in a mother tongue what happened? Whatever language you take, that language will be translated into the mother tongue as it is. But here, all the conversations, discussions and reading, everything will be done in a target language only. If you take the example of English language, we want to learn English. English will be learned only in English only. We don't need to translate into your mother tongue. And by associating the experience and expressions, without using the student's mother tongue. We don't need to use the student's mother tongue or regional language. And here grammar is taught inductively. Inductively in the sense, first examples. First here, examples and then rules. But in a grammar translation method, first rules. First rules and then examples. But here, examples first, rules next. So through that, this direct method will be taught. So this is called as an inductive method. And coming to oral practice. So what is oral practice here? Oral practice is the direct method gives importance to speech here. The direct method is giving only importance to speech here. And English is taught through English only. Means a target language will be taught only in a target language. We don't need to use the mother tongue. And students will be given sufficient practice in listening to the language and then speaking it. Yes, keep in mind here, the direct method will focus on two things, mainly focus on two things. The first one is listening and then speaking. First listening and then speaking. But coming to the grammar translation, reading and writing. Reading and writing. Grammar translation method will focus on reading and writing. But here, direct method will focus on listening and speaking. So it focuses on listening and speaking. Restrain the mother tongue means it prevents, prevent from the mother tongue, translating into the mother tongue. The students are taught by showing the real objects. Yes. Teacher, what he will do if he wants to teach anything? So he will take the example of that product. If suppose if you want to uh, show the pen, then pen, what do you do? What teacher will do? He will hold the pen in a hand and he will show the real object to the students and he will pronounce the word again and again. Then student will understand that that product name is called as a pen. We don't need to translate into their mother tongue. And they perform actions also. Students will perform some actions, some skits he will, he will do. And through that, the students will be able to understand a suitable illustration in context. He will do the suitable illustrations, examples he will give. This make them to think in English and they learn to respond in English. Then what happens? The teach a student will think in English only and he will respond in English. But coming to the mother tongue, what happens? Uh, if each and every word will be translated into the mother tongue in a GM, the grammar translation method. So 
through that uh, in a gmt every word when it translated into the mother tongue student will not imagine a uh, student will uh, will be not able to think in a english language a uh, target language but in a direct trans uh, direct method it is contrast to that the sentence is the unit of speech yes here the unit of speech is what here sentence but here in a gmt only the word is the unit of speech here the student will learn only word by word but in a target language here direct method students will learn sentence no single word in english has a single meaning all the words have connotative meanings in direct method meanings are taught contextually yes so what happens here in we know that english is a confusing language it will have the more than one meaning so that is the reason student will confuse so they will be taught according to the context students will be taught according to the context and grammar is taught inductively just now we discuss inductive in the sense examples first and the rules second so then student will be taught examples suppose if he wants to teach uh, examples of any uh, uh, what is that uh, noun so then a teacher will give number of examples so from that examples so students will uh, try to understand that a uh, naming word is called as a noun it means examples first and rules second first teacher will give examples here the student will analyze rules naming word is a noun so inductive method of teaching grammar is always good for the learners and it makes the learners to frame the rules from the language they learn so they are able to comprehend the language well and frame the rules of the language better and next one opportunity is to learn new vocabulary yes in a direct method student will have the opportunity to learn new vocabulary because he can beyond he can go beyond the words he can go beyond the text and the new words are chosen after careful selection and gradation and they are taught at definite stages through spoken language so the students learn more vocabulary students will learn more vocabulary but in a gra gmt grammar translation what happens specific words will be translated into mother tongue and that will be taught to the students but in this it will not happen he will be given more than that then student will learn more vocabulary and coming to the advantages so first one it is a natural method yes it is a natural method because we follow the order just now we discussed it will be focused on listening and speaking first and then we'll go to the reading and writing so this method we follow this method is called as a natural method and fluency of speech is guaranteed exactly when the student and teacher both are speaking in a target language the both are speaking in a target language automatically the fluency will be because both will be involved in a conversation in english only a uh, target language then fluency will be improved it develops pronouncing skills yes so they are made to listen to their teachers and then to speak first uh, teacher will pronounce the words teacher will pronounce the word again and again then student will understand it and he starts repeating or uh, teacher will give the activity to repeat it or drilling method so then students will develop the pronouncing skills and uh, supports in written work it will supports written work also fluency in speech help in written work also because when the fluency developed automatically he will be able to write in a uh, written form also he will be able to write so if he, if he doesn't have the fluency then he will be not able to write fluency is nothing but a more vocabulary so when student got the more vocabulary so then automatically he will be able to write the any answer or any content so concentrate is to mind on their spelling here what they do they focus on spelling and promotes the study of literature yes this a direct method promotes the study of literature the students are able to further proceed to enjoy literature with the knowledge because already they are gaining the more vocabulary so with that uh, they will be able to study the literature and accommodate audio visual aids yes so unlike the grammar translation method direct method makes of audio visual aids and thus making the learning interesting and proper so whatever the context is there produced by the audio visual aids then students will understand and he will be able to pronounce or he will be able to mimic the words as a uh, what is that audio is repeated or visual tvs or anything is a projector is repeated the same way student also will be able to repeat that and coming to the disadvantages it is not a complete method it is not a because just now we discussed it it will focus on mostly 
listening and speaking we will be focused on listening and speaking but reading and writing will be neglected so that is the reason it's not a complete method and it requires a competent teachers yes teacher a teacher teacher will be able i mean he must have the capa capability to teach the students first of all teacher should have the uh, what is the command over the language teacher should have the command over the language and the more vocabulary so then only he will be able to teach to the students and not only the teacher even students also it demands a linguistically qualitative students even students also should, should have the linguistically qualitative and they, they must be interested if they have command over the language then student will have the student will get the interest if teach student doesn't or doesn't have the quality of the language if a student doesn't have the command over the target language he will not show any kind of interest then he will feel bored like it leads to boredom the same way here and non availability of proper aids yes so we don't have enough facilities so students actually if uh, if we are teaching the student then uh, definitely we must have uh, english labs so then students will be able to uh, learn through the uh, what is that uh, phonetics methods or pronunciations or he will be able to follow the audios but most of the schools uh, they do not have the lab facilities so then students are lacking because of these reasons and uh, overcrowded classes yes in our schools uh, mostly what happens students uh, classes will be very small and students will be overcrowded actually 25 to 30 if the students are available then a teacher will be able to give the quality education mostly 40 to 50 students will be there in most of the government schools or other schools then what happens the teacher cannot give the what we uh, what we call uh, sufficient uh, knowledge to the students because of overcrowded classes and difficult uh, verbal explanation yes teachers are forced to rely on a verbal explanation because to teach the students in a target language teacher should have the more vocabulary and a teacher also need to depend on verbal explanation only because we will not we will not get any kind of aids teaching aids here and we will not get any kind of audiovisual aids because of this what happens they have to depend on verbal explanation thank you all thank you for watching